Good morning. Thanks for starting your day with Denver 7 News. I'm Molly Hendrickson. And I'm Brian Sanders. Here are your top stories this morning. 119 employees at UC Health are being terminated for not getting vaccinated against COVID-19. The vaccine requirement was announced in July. Employees were required to be vaccinated by October 1st. Officials say the 119 employees did not get vaccinated and did not get a medical or religious exemption. The employees being terminated represent less than 1% of UC Health's employees in Colorado. Of the 119 total, 54 worked in the Metro Denver region and 33 worked in Northern Colorado. Today, the city of Loveland plans to vote on whom will be a part of its new community trust commission. The commission was formed after this violent arrest of 73 year old Karen Garner, who suffers from dementia. The group's mission is to create policy recommendations and repair community trust with police. The city manager says 22 people applied to be a part of the commission. 16 were accepted. It's still unclear whether or not the Broncos will have their starting quarterback come this Sunday. Teddy Bridgewater is on concussion protocol. If he passes test early this week, he might be able to do light workouts by Thursday and then practice full on Friday. He could play Sunday against the Steelers if all goes well. Drew Locke will practice with the team and plan to start until Bridgewater is cleared. Here's meteorologist Lisa Hidalgo with your Denver 7 forecast. And it is going to be another beautiful day. We had temperatures that were about 7 to 10 degrees above normal yesterday. A similar scenario today. Uh, plenty of sunshine, lots of clear skies today statewide. It's going to be another bright eastbound drive. Mainly upper 40s to mid 50s as you step out the door early on and another pretty big warm up. We're going to be back in the mid to upper 60s by about 11 o'clock and then highs yet again at right around 80 degrees. So upper 70s to near 80 mid 80s over the northeastern corner of the state and again more upper 60s for the mountains. Pretty quiet today. The mountains will start to pick up some rain tonight. It's going to get wet out west tomorrow and we may see a few storms and showers here later in the day on Wednesday.